city of over 24 million people is a circuit that first featured in the championship calendar back in 2004 and of course played host to Formula One's 1,000th World Championship event in 2019. We start a lap here at Shanghai with a long difficult... Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my team career mode. It's been a few days since I last did my opening round at Bahrain, which went about as terribly as it could have done. But China seems to be one of our better circuits, and we are what's going on with the logos on that Mercedes. I'm not sure what's going on there, it all seems to be phasing in a little bit. Um, but it was a good, good race last time out. Uh, Schumacher got his first ever podium. We got our third ever non-scorer at, at Bahrain, so that's a good start. Um, but China's going to look a lot better. He's showed his starting grid. No shock on pole alongside Vettel. In second place because I think Bottas has a penalty. So, Verstappen, Leclerc... Mick Schumacher. Schumi, there's Ace. me, Sainz. right with in um, three hundredths of one another, so Perez. looking Gazi. good um, for they the race, the hopefully. Bottas taking a penalty, though, but only the second round of the Nicholas season is quite a surprise. Norris. Ricardo had a problem as well, so he took a grid penalty, so those still be trying to fight their way back through the field, we've just got to keep an eye on them. Let's see what we've got in terms of setup lined up in P6. Let's take that field out. So four laps on the softs and then ten on the mediums. No rain expected. Let's see how we get on. Everything looks good on the I'll be power honest, unit cycle, nice so let's concentrate on bringing tyres and brakes up to temperature. Shut up, Jeff. Copy that. Might as well tell them to shut up. There's four red cars in a row. Well, ours is more of a wine red, but as you can see. Oh. Oh. Could have went wrong. Yeah, it did go wrong. Um, but yeah, car. Feels quite nice around here. Not sure about race pace, really, compared to the rest of the AI. The other thing to make a note of since our last race is that I accidentally dropped my controller um, the other day, and I think I've lost a bit of vibration as a result. So, sort of fourth gear, I'd feel the, the fronts if they understeered. So, I'd, I'd feel that, and I'm only really getting a tiny amount of that now so through the controller so it's been a little bit of a difficult process to adjust to but I'm not going to make that an excuse for our rubbish driving With the AI there, seem to confuse them a bit. Valtteri, but what is going on here? Two cars have been disqualified. Bottas and Gasly. I've got a replay on that. They've stopped on circuit and they've obviously hit one another. So will they, will they take to the start? I've never seen that before. I've accidentally caused carnage on this formation lap. I'm in position. Will Shumi show up alongside me? Yeah, he will.
Let's just have a quick look before we start. It says 6 out of 22, so I'm assuming that they're back in the session. Yeah, so Bottas is there and Gasly is also there. Verstappen and Bottas on the mediums. Be interesting to see their progress. the launches Ooh, Mazepin's past me oh that was clumsy second clear I can't feel the car because of this lack of vibration in the and that's gone again I'm, I'm really worried about finishing this race now Oh, we're I'm going to restart. I don't care anymore. I know my rule last season was not to, but I'm going to this time. than the, the McLarens or the Mercedes but do hope that we can just hang on for a good result let's go to the RS mode now probably better for me to be on the outside for this corner feel the car cannot feel the car properly I've got a warning for that so that's a bit annoying It seems to have worked. That's 
where I'm most vulnerable to the AI. Oh, that was a pish line. I've started knocking my controller, my feedback started to re-emerge. Ooh, what the hell is that? What the hell was that? Was Clumsy one on Verstappen that. Try and use as much ERS as I possibly can. Now I've got to try and get. I'm not going to get him. Whatever that was has just cost me. A position and I'm not too pleased. I don't really want to lose that much time. as a result of that. I just can't get on the power coming out of the file. Call it before the straight. I have got DRS, luckily. But I'm going to pick this lap, I'm not even going to risk it. Charlie Leclerc behind us, spot Vettel and Hamilton in, in and out. And I'm on this compound for the rest of the race. That wasn't a good stop for Ferrari.
for the colour, needed a wind change or something. I need a good la outlap now though. And this is not going to be it. Down the street. She matches in the pit. Hamilton's back on with. Oh God. There's everybody else. There's she, me. We're going to clear them, that's good news. Long guard as well. A couple of other cars coming into the pits. Getting caught by Schumacher, which isn't good. Caught in that last corner isn't going to help either. Well, there they are coming out of the pits, but we're going to clear them. So now it remains to be seen what the pace of Bottas, oh, car retiring, who's that, not sure who that was. There's a little bump on that apex, I think that's what caused me to have a moment. clearly is quicker than us at this moment in time but he's got to get past me we all know how that went at Monza no come on Two nine. What are the medium tyres doing? Thirty oh, thirty one eight. Crikey! What happens when you do thirty twos? Hmm. I think Bottas will jump us. I 
Oh, apologies, just being distracted. A very tiny little spider. It's a little money spider, actually. A little money spider just... Oh, I've lost it. Damn. Not to worry. If it climbs up again, we'll put it back. <laughs> a little money spider just climbing up my TV screen. There's been a few of them recently. No money, though. from Schumacher's car. That was ridiculous. Can't do that again. Still not yet in the pits. to fight off. Ugh, well on the grass then. <laughs> Bottas is in the pit. Will we jump out in front of him? Well, Schumacher's up the inside. Just couldn't hang it around the outside. <laughs> Good fighting though. Bottas now behind Sainz. Verstappen going to feed out then because I'm going to assume he'll be clear of me but how much Bottas is already off to sick
had to give Schumacher room, he's fighting with Bottas. Verstappen cleared us by two and a half seconds. Our squabbling has actually cost us, we probably could have got past them. But, it doesn't matter. Bottas has got past Schumacher. No, oh, I wasn't. I was hoping not to use ERS then, but look at the speed. I'm going to fight it. Stop it on the apex if I have to, to stop him going through. Three laps to go, I'm gonna do my best to try and keep Bottas, but look at what? We've made contact, but I don't care. are just starting to go a bit. I'm starting to... Uh oh. That was a really bad time to do a flashback. And Bottas is again going to try and look. See? Good exit. You have to try and do it on the brakes again. Got him. I didn't get a warning for that, unbelievable. Oh my god, look at that. What is that little... What is that? That's caught me out twice now. What's that tiny little bump? Let's just watch it from Bottas' point. What's that? Like it upsets the entire car. I mean, it's a bump. What am I hitting? Nothing even there, it's just a bump in the... Is that actually in the... It can't be, can it, surely? It's got to concentrate. Keep my eyes open.
good accent. He's catching us, but I think we'll be okay. One lap to go. That Mercedes is stupidly quick in a straight line. Did something wrong. We're all good. On feel front. Oh, I just need to get my exit right. I didn't do quite as well as I hoped. Yes, get in. What a result. Makes up for last season when we spun at the final corner. <laughs> Get in. And Bottas got driver of the day. Well, couldn't get past me though, could he? So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. So we've gone back to the old F1 Anthony games Davidson, where how do you think they when the team logos and sponsorship oh, loads in, it doesn't load in properly. It looks all. Ever, like, look at it. About speed. It's all about maintaining that speed. So this new update has made it worse. And that just looks like they're wearing like crappy plastic rubber. So stupid. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes. You're race winners today. There's James Allison up there on the podium with Hamilton. Who's leading the championship then? This is going to be really interesting because the first round of Bahrain was so mad. That's a much more conventional podium. Because the McLarens are looking stupidly quick this season. Move up to level eight. So let's review the driver's standings. Sebastian Vettel will be very happy. So Vettel is top of the championship. His championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony um, Davidson. Who do you pick? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas. Commanding points. performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold now on second, the lead is getting third weaker. Third for Stappen, because fourth. We're sick. Today as they make their way first points the of the season for us. And with that, we wrap up another weekend this of is good news. We're fourth in the standings. Up, McLaren sure is still top. We come back that won't last, because Mercedes one. are clearly the quickest car on the grid again. But we're showing good speed. That's showing a lot of promise. I'm not going to get too excited yet because still a long way to go in the season but you know we were on the third row there you know quite comfortably weren't far away from the second row of the grid either and the pace was good you know I could hold my own against everyone I was struggling a little bit but that's more me than the car tied on point with Checo Claims gone up. Nicely done. 
What about cash? Didn't get any asked any, asked any questions, so nothing I could have done. Yeah, that's good. That's a that's a good haul of points. You know, me finishing fourth, Schumacher finishing eighth, twenty points. That's what you want it. That's what you want. Third season team. Our margins are looking good right now. I think we've got room for some. What's more this? How do you want us to deal with this one? Yeah. Thanks for dealing with that. The department's appreciated. I'm not a corporate slave. We need the sponsors. What about the activities? So we've got weight training for Shumi. Some PR filming for Shoemaker. A sponsor headquarter. A durability team building. But oh, we've got enough time to do everything. Third best car on the grid. Apparently. Although McLaren are definitely quicker than us. I think Red Bull are as well. Um, but I think we're on par with Ferrari. At the very least. Hmm. Few things got to You need my sponsors. Nothing wrong with the sponsors. They were good. So let's advance time. Oh, that's good. We get our okay, resources. So nice. The fabrication process. That's we'll good. We got some new parts in. So let's just have a look at so our aerodynamics now have been completely upgraded we just need spec free so we can't go any further than that our chassis needs work and I think that needs to be the upgrade that comes in engine can do with some more points so I think well there's, there's no difference really is there between which one gives the bigger boost? That one does. So let's do that. Loads of upgrades on the reliability. 630 on the MGU. So we need to get that sorted. But we need to update our facilities. So, chassis. Can we do anything with not quite yet. I'm going to see if I can upgrade that to fabrication in a minute. So let's get those weekly resources and points in. This durability events gives us more resource points. So I'm not going to say no to that. Well. Thanks. It's 50 grand. It means we can get more R&D in for the engine. Twelve forty-six. We've got enough for that, so let's get that done. That'll come in. Oh, just. I think it's worth a shot rushing it. See if I can come in. Our oh, rats just kicking off over in the corner. Apologies if you can hear them in the background. Activities. So, problem is we can't do anything else. Like we can't actually do anything else with the time that we got left. It doesn't refresh. But that's a bit more money, so now we can do it. So it's 4th of May. We'll activate that, so that will be after um, the Portuguese Grand Prix. Oh, friggin' bloody week. thing didn't work. So, the so that was a durability Any issue, wasn't it? Need to be ordered from the R &D screen. So the ultimate one, and we need just a few more points for that. So we'll need to look into it. And 
Ach, das ist auch wunderbar. Ähm. Yeah, why not? Gives it more acclaim. In the space center. That hasn't worked either. We had a major issue on the production line earlier. All right, let's see then. So our powertrain upgrade didn't work, which was always going to be a gamble. It's got a zero percent failure chance. Realistically, we're not going to need it for Monaco, but I think the MGU K1 is arguably a little bit more important right now. So, I'd say reliability. Let's bump that up, because we're 7th at the minute in the reliability standings. And Mercedes are 9th, so they need to get a move on with their reliability, because they're looking quite poor for that. Everything else, you know, Aston Martin have got the best engine. Slightly better than Mercedes. Chassis-wise, I've no idea where everyone else is. There's a chassis. I don't know where everyone else is with the... The aerodynamics, I can't say. So let's advance it past Portuguese Grand Prix. We got the Rosa speed though, that's good. That's good, that's come in time for Paul tomorrow. But in any case, that's it for this week's, or not this week's, today's episode. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't followed me on Twitch already, feel free to do so or subscribe on YouTube to JackTM53. But nevertheless, thank you very much for watching and wherever you might be in the big wide world. Have a good one. See you soon.